Hey, it's Rob, and welcome to Axel's Garage. We did a hinge pin repair video, and I'm going to link it right here. And it lasted for about two weeks, and then got progressively worse. The door closed great for two weeks. You saw in the video, we banged it in. It was a little bit of a pain in the ass. No, not a, a huge deal, but then it just progressively got worse and worse, and now it's just really bad. You can see, when I open the door, if you look right here, you can see how much it falls. And when I shake the door up and down, if you want to get it in here, Steve-O, on this hinge here, when I lift that door, you can see how loose it is. So now, I've already taken apart the, the panel that goes here on the panel, the, the kick plate panel down there. That was in the previous video. And I'm just going to disconnect the wires that go to the door so that we can take this door off and we're going to try a different hinge pin repair kit. So what we did the last time, so previously we used the kit that just, um, it was a hinge uh, pins and bushings, and it was the kind that you put in with a C-clip and you hold it in with a C-clip. And that seemed to be the easiest way and the way most people did it. But apparently something's wrong, and we're not going to really know until we start taking it off. It almost looks as if the C-clips for the top hinge pin on both the top hinge and the lower hinge are gone and they're not there anymore. Now I don't remember if they were, were there not C clips on those? I, I don't remember from the previous video. Either way, those top hinge pins seem to be moving around and it's just not working. So we bought a different kit that comes with the brackets. We didn't replace the brackets the last time. I don't know if you need to replace the brackets or not when you when you really have a serious problem, but we bought the one that instead of instead of uh, being retained by a, a C-clip at the bottom of the stud, it's got a, a, a nylon lock nut on it. Now the reason why they use a nylon lock nut is so that when you're opening and closing the door and these things spin, this doesn't eventually back its way off. And I think this might be a better alternative because even when we had the new bushings and we get it in there, if there is still a little bit of slop, we can tighten it a little bit more and that might take up some of that slop and it might not move around as much. All right, so now what I could do is I could fish in there and disconnect the wires that have to come out with the door, with getting the door off, and that's the first step. Now, I don't remember exactly how we did this the first time around. I'm out here. Yeah, so you just pull the rubber off with your hand, and then you got this guy here, this plastic guy, and you can see there's these tabs and you gotta pry those tabs back I need like a little little pocket screwdriver to pry those tabs back in here see you just push one of them back with a little screwdriver and now you got the tabs and now you can look back here and figure out what wire so this wire Going down to here. You know what's really strange is it's not that long ago that we did this, and I don't remember doing this at all. I don't remember which wires we took out. <laughs> so this one goes up in here it's this one right here this one and it's this one right here okay. now we got a little Christmas tree clip I gotta get out So, pop that Christmas tree out, little Christmas tree clip, and you should be able to finagle these wires. So, this and this is the wires that have to come back through. So you just fish them through as gently as you can. come right through so now all right our 
wires are out of the way, you can tuck them in the door here, like I'm doing, just so they don't drag on anything. And now all you have is a bolt for this hinge, a bolt for this hinge, and your door stop check thing. This is what holds the door open. Um, these three, which I think they're 10 millimeter. Now this one moves, right? I don't know if it's supposed to move. This one, a little stiffer. I really can't barely get it to move, even prying it a little bit. So that could be the problem right there, and that's why I got the um, the kit that comes with the brackets itself, because it, maybe the brackets are screwed up. I don't know. These are 10 millimeter bolt heads on all three of them. All right, not a lot of tools required. So now, oop, this door check is free, all right? And these are unbolted from the door. Now all the door has to be is lifted straight up so that this part of the door hinge that's on the door side goes above that pin and they'll be above all the other pins and the door will come off and you could put it Here you go. all right the one thing i did forget to do is lower the window so i'm just plugging the big harness in just to see if that'll make the window work and it does and the reason why we're lowering the window is just to give us an extra grab point and all i had to connect was the big the big harness connector was, you know this big one. I don't know what the other ones do or don't do. But apparently, plugging that big one in is enough to get this door up. Now it's sometimes it's real tough. You really can't grab from here to lift the door up. So you can grab from the door frame, but we have a a plastic deflector on there, so you got to be careful you don't rip that off. Um, Big Stevo here. Big Stevo does a squat and grabs the bottom of the door and brings it straight up. And I go from here and here and just hold it a little bit. We should be able to do it with no problem. Ready? Straight up. Yep. Tighten and move it away from the bar. Okay, let's bring it right over here. All right. So there still is a C clip right here. There's a C clip right here. So the C clips didn't fall out like it looked. But look how sloppy they got, you know, so fast. And I don't know if, I don't know if it's this bracket that caused it, if it's just a shitty Dorman hinge pin repair kit, but even on the bottom, they're sloppy. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come under here, try to get that C-clip out if I could find it. You get the C clip out. There's the C clip. And this should slide up. So here's the washer that was underneath. Here's the hinge pin. That should have been tight in the bracket. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the top so we could take it apart together and Take a look at it. C clip. The bottom doesn't have a washer. All right, so this one popped up. This one popped up. These are the way they went in the car. All right, now this comes right off like that. And here's the bushings. And this bushing actually broke into two pieces. This bushing is still one piece.
doesn't even want to come out. Bottom bushing, look at that. Completely broken into two pieces. These have only been in the car for the summer. I think at the beginning of the summer we did it and it's Thanksgiving time now. So they completely went to shit. Now I don't know if they went to shit because because these are so worn out. I have no idea. All right, so here's the new bracket, which it's got a small hole at the top and a big hole at the bottom. This bracket, small hole at the top, big hole at the bottom. So the brackets look pretty similar. Did it sit like this? Did it sit? No, the devil didn't sit like that. Had to sit like this. So now on the original one, it looked like the knurled section, right, went into the to the bracket. See how tight it fits in the bracket, the knurled section. All right. Now on the new ones, that knurled section doesn't fit in there. Take the old pin, slide it in. Oh no, it's about the same. So this is the upper one, and it's a little sloppy. But if I take the factory one, factory bracket, that knurled section fits in there nice and tight. Not use this bracket? I'll just use the hardware. I see what you're saying. So now this. This one should go in there. It goes in there nice. This one should go in there nice. This is supposed to go like this. See, there's still a little movement, right? So let's try the try this one for the hell of it. I'm going to play. Let's take the original bracket. It's much tighter. Yeah, that fits much tighter. I like the original bracket idea. Now what about the bottom one? Bottom one. Yeah, that fits nice and tight also. Let's see how the bottom one fits in this one. Loose. Right? Right, see how these have a round shoulder and these have a threaded shoulder. 
right? That is, oh. So you, they want you to hold it back, so the knurling really doesn't matter. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the way it's designed here. Maybe this is a an upgrade design. You know what I'm saying? The knurling is stops it from spinning when you tighten it down. But maybe now that we're using. Maybe now that we're we're using a uh, a different design, maybe it's supposed to go that way. So let's let's go with the way they want it to go. I bet we'll be doing this in another. You think so? It could be. Let me see what size that is. And maybe it's it is, you know, like a slightly different design. You really don't need the knurling. The knurling just stops it from spinning. Now, I guess you could make this too tight and then the door would be stiff, you know, closing. So. Like this is like real loose, right? And this is very tight. So what if we just back it off just a little? Yeah, but you got to be able to open and shut the door. So I'm trying to just get a feel. Just trying to get a feel for how, how tight they are. Spray, I'm gonna spray some some penetrating stuff in there. I don't. Do you think I need the white grease in there? Uh, maybe. Yeah. So let's do that. You're right, Steve. So now that we know how it goes, let's take it apart, and I'll get some white grease in there. You're right. So now that we know how it's gonna go, I'm gonna take some. moves there's not a lot of play in it or I really can't feel any play in it so I'm just gonna still got a good movement still got good movement 
still got good movement, but it's not, not real tight yet. Starting to feel some drag on the hinge. A little bit more drag. Still easy to open and shut. I just want a little extra drag. Getting better. Remember, when you put the door on it, you're pulling the door from the far end, so you do have a lot of leverage on it. Feeling good. All right, that feels nice. Let me get this bottom. My goal here is to get the bottom tight, but not feel an increase in, in drag. What you do, as soon as you start tightening the bottom, the bottom gives you more drag. Is, is really tight compared to the bottom. I guess the bottom really controls how much drag there is because the bottom is not nearly as tight as the top. Okay, and now we're just going to repeat this same process on the bottom. All right, so we got them in. They're stiff. They were in there nice and stiff. Top one, the bottom one. I think the stiffness is going to help a little bit. We'll see. I think there's plenty of, of leverage because you're shutting and opening the door from here to move those hinges even when they're stiff. I don't think they need to be flopping around so easily. Spread the door the same way we did it. Come in. That's the hardest part. No, we're not uh, connected yet. So. Ooh, wow, that feels good. Bracket one. So the door is not too stiff, and I made them tighter than I think you should probably have to make them. And the door is definitely not too stiff. Let me fish those wires through and we can actually test how the door closes before we button everything up. Now, when you're putting this back on, you need to snap the rubber onto the plastic first. You got to get this lip under this, like that. and then work your way around. All right, and you 
see. Now you got it all the way around. And now when you when you push it through, all you need to do now is push it in and those two little clips that we hit with the screwdriver to get it out are in the way there. So how's the door feel? <laughs> it's stiff. It works. Yeah. I bet that'll loosen up. But it's closing nice. Look at that. Alright. Definitely stiff. Alright, I think it'll loosen up. But it's definitely a lot stiffer than it was. Because like I said, I probably made it a little too tight. But it's closing nice. Yeah. Now, because we went all summer with this thing hanging and having to slam the door and slam the door and slam the door, what we did was we messed up this latch because this latch wasn't hitting the striker evenly. This latch controls your dome light and tells the vehicle whether the door's ajar or not, so we were constantly getting the door ajar, even when the door was shut, and the dome light, so we had to use the override to keep the dome light off. But, oh wow, I am really happy now. Oh, nice. So this is definitely working the way it should. I am completely happy with how this worked out. Absolutely. All right, so now I just gotta button up my uh, my wires and my uh, toe kick panel. And the big dummy uses this car all the time. When he's not, this is like his daily driver and he's been using his K5 as his uh, weekend warrior. But this is, ah, wow, love it. All right, a success. But you know what, the Steve-O, Steve-O's behind the camera if I didn't mention. The last video we did on this, when we put the first bushing and hinge kit in, it was a success also. So, uh, what are we, the week of Thanksgiving? It's Sunday, Thursday is Thanksgiving, just to mark the date, and we'll get back with you in a, in a few weeks to a month, to a month and a half, to let you know if these survived. <laughs>